on my friends back again with another video today bringing you guys five awesome transitions you can easily do within premiere i'm going to be showing you guys the invert flash transition i'm going to be showing you guys some creative little zoom things some kind of more subtle more simple little effects as well as some stuff like flash effects things like that anyways what we're going to do is hop into premiere right here i have a bunch of clips already set up and cut for you guys just kind of taken from my director reel i'm going to go ahead and start putting transitions in between these cuts so before i do that i just want to mention you guys that i actually created a facebook community group with me and my friend my roommate he's actually a youtuber who goes by crab lord does a lot of music tutorials makes his own music so we're creating this facebook group now that both of us are starting to grow it's harder to give you guys each personal advice and just kind of be on a more personal level so if you guys want to you can join this group i don't use facebook that much so i only really created a facebook just to use this community group so if you ever need help with anything if you ever want to share your work find other people who are doing similar stuff to you so i thought it would just be a cool little thing just kind of bring the community together and link media monopoly as a whole together right back into this tutorial first one I'm going to show you is the invert flash so I'm actually gonna use a different clip because this already has an invert on it I'm gonna hold down shift and just maybe click over uh, one time I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click Control K just to make a cut hold down shift right arrow key once to go to the middle and then right arrow key again to go to the right so we're just moving over five frames to the left and then going back to the middle and then moving over five frames to the right and then we're going to make a cut there so Control k right there so we have these two little clips cut together and we have a cut in the middle so here's how we're going to create that kind of inverting flash so i showed you in one of my other videos and in that video i also gave away free presets one of the presets included in this pack is actually this awesome invert effect that i created so i'm going to show you that real quick and this is how you get the alpha invert that doesn't actually come in the default premiere so i'll place this preset right here and like i said this is free on the website if you go to lumetri colors you can just change the exposure just to kind of make that better and you're going to see this is the invert that i created just through presets that you can really only get through plugins so i'll show you so i'll just remove this real quick and let me just show you this is the normal invert effect that you can get just through premiere as you can see you have rgb red hls a bunch of different stuff like that go ahead and download that free preset it's called max novak darkness like I said, links in the description to the website. Just go to video products and you'll see it right here. It's going to say $0, 100% for free. You'll get the you'll get the six presets in there and the alpha invert is one of the presets that's included in there. So you can drag that preset. So I'm just going to change the Lumetri color panel like that. And I'm actually going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to take darkness invert and I'm going to place that onto our clip over here. And then I'm going to go to my Lumetri color panel in our color workspace. And I'm just going to change around some of these settings. Just kind of switches to that darkness invert that I was talking about and then switches over into the next clip now i think this looks a lot better if you actually make it a little bit quicker so let's go ahead and i'm just going to click twice with my left arrow and then i'm going to make a cut there i'm going to do the same on the right side just like that i'm just going to remove the effects off of i'm going to remove the effects off of these end pieces right here just to make this a little bit faster and you'll see just a quick little inverted flash like that simple but at the same time it gives a cool little effect so let's move on to the next simple transition which is overlay transition so i actually talked about this a lot in the comments because a lot of you guys were asking about that if you guys go to this website right here called production crate they have a bunch of awesome overlays that you can put as well as stock footage i've done a bunch of work for them before this actually isn't paid i'm just making this because i think they're a very useful website so we can just look up transition and you guys are going to find a bunch of different options you can use for this for the one i use a lot in that music video i'm pretty sure it was a liquid transition they even have some like emoji transitions they have a bunch of different stuff so you can go through there and search i'm gonna look up liquid transition right here paint stream transition stuff like that you guys can explore through this website they have a bunch of cool stuff for free or if you want you could pay a monthly fee to get their premium stuff that's any other website where you can find these cool little free overlay transitions you'll find some cool stuff so once you've downloaded that all you need to do is actually just find wherever you downloaded it drag it into your project just like this and you're gonna see from this site it's actually just an mov file so it already has a transparent background which is super useful you can also use green screen clips so for example if you just look up green screen transition on youtube you'll find a bunch of cool ones you can just download those throw them into premiere just like i did here except the only difference is to get rid of that green background you would just have to look up a quick little ultra key effect and i also have an entire green screen pack for free on my website if you're interested in that this one was pretty self-explanatory all you need to do is just find wherever the transition takes place and then just position that wherever you'd like as well as go ahead and rescale it however you'd like you can apply any effects onto this so from my so for my effects pack 1.0 i'm gonna apply a trippy hue cycle and we'll see this cool little awesome effect like that all optional i'm just showing you some cool stuff you can do just kind of manipulate the overlay that's pretty self-explanatory you can go ahead and find a bunch of different stuff with that 
I'm gonna move on to the next super easy and creative transition. Okay guys, so next up, I wanna talk about some transition presets, whether it's Zoom stuff or other cool stuff which you can find online. I have some stuff on my website. There's a bunch of other people and YouTubers that create presets like that. I'm just gonna show you what you can really do with some of these. So I'm just gonna place my little selector over the cut in between these two clips. Hold down shift and just click left twice like that. I'm gonna click Control K, go back to the middle, and then shift right twice like that. So I'll click Control K. Now all you have to do is select these two clips like this, right click them, and then go to Nest, and then just click OK. So whenever you're nesting a clip, it's basically like you're just combining those two into one clip, and you have the cut in between there right here. Now all you have to do is just go to Effects, and then go to your presets. And like I said, you can download these online, free ones on my website, paid ones on my website, even though they're cheap. You can find them all across the internet on YouTube if you just look up Adobe Premiere Pro transition presets and you right click them, import them, find the file wherever you downloaded, like this for example, that would import the presets. So open up your presets. I'm gonna go to my transition pack version one. And then here's just a bunch of different stuff which you can use. So for example, zoom hit, drag it in there and it's already gonna be selected for you. Another few options like shroom zoom, we have ripple zoom. These ones actually take plugins. These ones actually rely on some plugins which you have to download. Um, and there's also ones like ghost zoom. We also have some cool little upside down stuff like that even upside down with the rippling pretty cool stuff so cool stuff you can find that's just from my transition pack like i said you can find a bunch of other stuff just no has transition packs bjk productions literally almost every youtuber probably has a transition pack as well if you just look it up there's sites like motion array pond 5 bunch of other cool stuff where you can find things like that speaking of other youtubers transition packs there's actually one that i like to use a lot just because it's very simple it has some nice simple transitions that aren't too flashy and they get the job done so i'm going to be linking that down below that is the chung da presets and they are for free so i'm just going to look up transition i'm just going to close my pack and my effects pack and right here if you install these correctly i'll link to his video as well as his website set this up a pretty similar way so i'm going to go between these two cuts i'm going to click shift once this time and then I'm gonna click Control K, shift once back, shift once to the right, and then click Control K to cut that. So we have two kind of little five frame cuts away from each other, two little five frame cuts from the middle. We're gonna go over to our effects library. We have transitions already searched. Right here where it says smooth transition tile, I'm just gonna place that on both. And like I said, all credit goes to him for this. Select them both, nest them. And then this is the one I like to use a lot, left to right, or you can just use some simple zooms, just some little simple stuff, give some nice cool motion, just like that. All right, and the last one, this one is probably the simplest to pull off, but it's actually pretty cool, it's pretty useful, and this is just an easy little flash transition. So to do this, just go over to your effects and presets library, just look up additive dissolve. So you're gonna see it under dissolve. We're gonna place this in between our clip. So make sure you're placing it so that it's selecting both the clips like this, not like that, or like that. So in between them. So this is what it looks like normally. It's just gonna kind of brighten up and then just dissolve into the next one. To get it to really flash, just take the edge of this of this and you're gonna see it's just gonna be a quick little flash into the next scene. Super simple, easy transition. You can literally do this within 10 seconds. Very basic. So the five lists that I selected is kind of a range from more advanced, intermediate, basic. So you guys can choose from that. Create some awesome stuff. Transitions are pretty key to a lot of videos. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, check out the Facebook community group down below if you guys wanna share your work. Check out some new creators or even if you just need some help with something that I can't directly help you with. I'll be posting a lot in there as well as Crab Lord will be posting a lot in there. So you guys will have a better chance of just being able to interact with us throughout the comment sections and stuff. Check out the website links. Check out all the preset stuff that I mentioned down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later.